Now, engineers from the Kenya Highway Authority are inspecting the Stony Athi Bridge following reports that it may not sound enough, it may not be sound enough, and uh, there may be necessary structural adjustments uh, which are critical. We're now joined by Seth Olale, who's been following that story. Seth, what update can you give us with regard uh, to the structure and strength of that bridge? Well, just like you mentioned earlier, Smriti, is that uh, engineer David Muchilwa, who is actually the director of development uh, at the Kenya National Highway Authority, just assured motorists that this particular bridge that was under repairs yesterday is safe for use, and it will remain safe for at least 50 years or more. Now, Smriti, I have to be as brief as possible because it's just about to rain over here. But that particular team from the Kenya National Highway Authority were able to inspect this particular carriageway that links Nairobi all the way to Mombasa. And they said that the repairs that have been done, uh, they're confident that that will be able to hold this particular bridge over here. And they also talked about comprehensive protective measures in the coming days, and they're going to ensure that they do more reinforcement in this particular bridge. They're going to remove all the gabions and instead replace them with concrete walls just to make sure that the river banks remain firm when it comes to this particular place. And also they talked about a new bridge that is under construction just on my left and that should be completed by September and they say that that one will solve this problem once and for all. And remember they also talked about the returning period which usually, uh, uh, which usually highlights an occurrence of extreme weather conditions. And they're saying that that will happen again in 50 years. And they say that the overtopping of the bridge, which was witnessed here last Thursday, it is the first of its kind in about 50 years duration. And they're assuring motorists that that will not likely, it's not likely to happen again. And so it remains safe. In the meantime, as you can see behind me, it's pretty that traffic is flowing freely. We've not been able to see huge traffic jam yet. And this is just an assurance from the Kenya National Highway Authority that the road is uh, safe to be used and it will remain safe at least for some few years to come. But I have to leave it here, Smriti, because it's already raining over here, Smriti. <laughs> All right, Seth Olale, do keep dry, uh, you and your camera crew.